take a look at our very own Jenna Baroni earning some trophies and medals from this last weekend from her awesome skiing. Way to go, Jenna! Woo woo! Take a look at our weekly attendance data. In first place for last week was our kindergarten classrooms. Way to go, they had 99% attendance. In second place was a tie between second grade and fifth grade, way to go. And for late arrivals, we had 66, which is lower than the previous week. Way to go, guys. Let's get to school on time this week and keep up the great work. March 14th is Pi Day. Pi, which is represented by this symbol, is a very special ratio. A ratio is a relationship between two numbers, like 10 to 1 or 1 half. Pi is the ratio of a circle's circumference the distance around the circle to its diameter, the distance across the center of the circle. No matter how big or small the circle is, this ratio is always pi, or approximately 3.14. We use the approximate value of pi because that's a lot easier than using its true value. 3.14159265358979, which actually goes on forever. That's what makes it such an amazing ratio. Scientists and mathematicians use pi all the time in geometry to find the size of circular objects like wheels and planets. It all comes back to pi. In 1988, a physicist named Larry Shaw even held a party to honor pi. He chose the 14th of March, 314, just like pi. He and his colleagues ate pi, walked in circles, and recited as many digits of pi as they could remember. Celebrating mathematics, and specifically Pi, was so much fun that, in 2009, the government officially recognized Pi Day. How do you use circles in your life every day? Good morning, Cooney Pirates! It is, in fact, Pi Day, being March 14th, 314. We are excited with all the fun things we have going on here. I know fifth graders are having a competition to name all the numbers. Uh, well, as many numbers as they can because Pi goes on and on and does not repeat. I cannot wait to see that happen later today. Uh, today for lunch is not pie, bummer, but today for lunch is macaroni and cheese. That comes with garlic toast. Choice on a Tuesday is a yogurt, string cheese, and crackers. Okay, I have an important, important reminder. By the lunchroom is our learning center. That means when you're walking through the quiet corridor and you come in through those entry doors, there is a classroom right there with Miss Moss Hart. Um, and lots of students working really hard to learn. So please be very quiet when you're opening those doors. Do not slam that door against the wall. Um, please, again, respect that learning space. We will be putting up a sign to remind everyone to be quiet. We all appreciate your help with that. Also, I have a shout out to Mr. Riley's class from Mrs. Uh, Moss Hart. Mr. Riley's class, you have been doing a wonderful job walking through there very quietly, and Mrs. Mosshart appreciates you. So keep up the great work. Okay, I have WOW board winners here. Our random number generator selected number 53, third grader in Mrs. Sandell's class, Isaac Berkheimer. Come on down and get your prize from Miss Finney. Number 95, first grader, Miss Bope's class. Lainey Holiday, come on down and get your prize. And number 87, fourth grader, Miss Miller's class, Evelyn Corridori, come on down and get your prize. I also have a bunch of prizes in the library. Uh, Miss Cops, I want to say congratulations to the classes with the most participation in the survey. 
Um, please come on by for your class to receive $25 in books. That is awesome. That goes to Miss Williams class who had 18 students turn that in. Miss Welch's class who had 14 students turn that in. Miss Lizy's class who had 12 and Mrs. Miller's class. So you can go down and claim that prize. Also, we had individual winners that were polled for turning in their survey. You can come by the library to claim your $25 value. That goes to um, first grader, Bope, Emmalyn Gilton, third grader in Welch, Wyatt Hatfield, third grader, Jenna Douglas, fifth grader, B Brody Skiles, fourth grader, Adora McDaniel. Uh, third grader, Kate Baus. Fourth grader, Bailey Daimler. Fourth grader, Evelyn Corridori. You're doing lots of winning today. Fifth grader, Hunter Baus. And third grader, Weston Driggers. Again, you can go to the library to claim your prize. Um, I have more exciting news, lots of things going on. Um, for our Healthy Heart Challenge, we exceeded our goal of $750. We actually raised just over $1,000 for kids with special hearts. $1,018.67 to be exact. That means, you guessed it, Mrs. Knowles will be riding around in a gorilla suit on a Strider bike throughout the school. I will keep you posted on when that is going to happen. Another reminder that this Thursday in two days is Pajama Day and our family gizmo night. We are so excited. It is going to be so much fun. So be sure to bring your families to that. I will be there with my kiddos and I hope to see you there. Okay, those are all the announcements I have today. Since it is Pi Day, I wanted to do three jokes for you. Number one, why should you never start talking to Pi at a party? Because it just goes on and on forever. <laughs> okay, joke number two. What are 3.14% of sailors? Pirates. <laughs> and joke number three. What is the animal of the day? A python. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you really enjoy Pi Day as much as I am already. You may now stand for the Pledge of Allegiance.